Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another view on the foot birthday Mario Hermoso. We're going to go through the card as details as clips and summary. Before we get into all of that, if I can ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below if you're going to be grabbing this card. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, getting this Mario and Mozart, I suppose played him in that centre back slot next to Sergio Ramos uh, in that 4 3 one I just tried him there, of course. Uh, and overall, guys, my first impression is currently played pretty decent for me. He's a very good, serviceable centre back option, especially if you're going to lock him off with, say, Yuri Berchichi or Sergio Busquets, something like that, which will allow you to section off that part of your team. Getting, let's get into the review though. Mario and Mozart, six foot tall, high, medium work rate, left footed, faster swing moves, and three star weak foot. Six games played, no goals scored, and no assists. So guys, immediately off the bat, the five star skill moves doesn't really do much for me. And um, for you skillers out there, of course, though, this will be a bit of a dream. High medium, that's a bit of an issue as well, especially next to Sergio Ramos. You have to have the right instructions on this card to make sure he stays back and defends appropriately. But left footed for a left sided centre back as well, which I do like. Um, you're able to then defend on his strong foot when people are coming down the wing in that regard, too. His height, he's a little bit lower than I would like, especially given that his physicality isn't the highest. However, guys, I would say that it's not overall an issue. Um, he did defend very well. In terms of the chemistry style, I tried a shadow and an engine on him. I do think the shadow fit better on this card the engine does do a certain amount for him in terms of his capability but i think the shadow just fit much better on this card which brings me into the stats guys the pros of this card guys um generally pretty good defending stats decent passing range as well decent dribbling stats as well and he was really technically proficient guys very capable of uh, doing a good job in the midfield there as well uh, uh, in terms of transitioning into the midfield and then playing passes um, I do feel like this card does lack a little bit especially in the pace department uh, the acceleration is very loose you do need to fix that with it within a chemistry style um, his agility and balance are quite good though so I didn't feel like that was too bad for a center back his stamina is the other big issue guys that you need to consider towards the end of the game he will seem like he's getting very tired and that is something that I did struggle with especially as people were bringing on players like Diata uh, or Wamangi Tuka to come on and try and take this guy on I did struggle a little bit to cover those kind of players and those kinds of runs so that's just something to bear in mind for this card um, but overall guys I would say that I was quite impressed with how this card played and how he did especially in those center back slots next to Sergio Ramos finally guys the trait that he has dives into tackles he won't want to speak home of so without further ado we're going to get into some of the clips that I go with him so guys getting into some of Mario Hermoso's clips and what you guys are going to see is his general ability playing that center back position uh, able to track the runs uh, tackle the people well uh, and just in general be a very physical center back in the middle of that defense now the first thing I want to get into guys is his pace now his acceleration is pretty low his sprint speed is pretty good now guys one thing i do, would say is that his acceleration does need a big helping hand without that acceleration boost he can catch up to strikers he just may catch up a little too late or not quite enough and that's a problem guys uh, with the boost to his acceleration and sprint speed he becomes obviously a lot quicker and that allows you to really play a higher line as well if you need to and just to catch up uh, on those faster attackers when you need to as well because he's got the pace to do so. Getting into the next part of his game, guys, which is his passing game. Now, I loved his passing game. At times, it felt a little bit sloppy, but once I got used to it and started using it a little better, what I found was that his passing game was very good. He's able to play out to those fullbacks, little chipped balls as well, little passes everywhere. And th this clip here, guys, is just showing you his dribbling. Not necessarily that you want to use him for attacking play, but it's just to show you that his technical side is there. I mean, here we commit a challenge, we get a little bit lucky there, but then he comes out with the ball, uh, beautiful play there, uh, and manages to offload the ball there as well. And coming back to his passing and dribbling, guys, his dribbling as well is very good. Um, and I feel like actually I didn't need to boost this as I did with the engine chemistry. I felt like the shadow fit him better in terms of what he was able to do with uh, on and off the ball once he had that boost. Um, but overall, guys, I don't feel like the engine did him any harm either. It boosted him in a different way. I just feel like the shadow would have made him a lot more of an elite defender. The next thing I want to get into, guys, is of course the main part of this, which is his defending leading on to that as well, his physical so his defending stats are all pretty sound um i would say that he tracks the ball well tackles well uh, is strong in the tackle as well and that leads into his strength and aggression and overall guys i would say he's a very sound and solid center back what i would say is that if you want him to be a really good center back you do need to boost his defending stats he is a little bit lacking in those stats especially if you choose to go another way with your defensive chemistry style uh he will need a little bit of a helping hand on in his center back partner i had him with ramos as well which didn't really help in terms of work rates because he hasn't a high attacking work rate but with the right instructions and just some cautious play uh, i was able to defend fairly well with him 
Now his physicality guys just coming onto that again is very good, but his stamina is a little low. So that's something to be aware of um, is that he does have a lower stamina than you would be expecting for a center back. And that may lead to him getting tired late game when you're playing against some of these cards, of course, like the Diatas coming on late on in the game like I do, uh, or some other fast cards that other people are bringing on. You may struggle a little bit with this card. Last few clips, guys, and we're just going to see more of the same, more defending, more transitioning into the attack and passing the ball through uh, or just winning the ball back cleanly like this one here tracking the run again lovely win there getting the pass off and in this final one here another lovely win and getting the ball away so guys getting into this mario hermoso review we won't be going through the prices comparison but uh, we'll look at the prices we won't be going through the comparison just because the prices are too volatile right now we'll do that towards sunday or monday time 259 on the playstation 203 on the xbox 265 on the pc now the key stats for this card the defending stats are pretty okay, the reactions, ball control, the general dribbling stats are good, the passing range is pretty decent, and the physicality stats are pretty decent. Now, overall, guys, that really sums up what my thoughts are about this card is decent. Um, I think this card is just a decent card. I don't think he's a standout card, but what it does give you is an option to have a very good centre-back next to another very good centre-back or left-back in Yuri Berchiche um, that you can link in and create a sort of a Spanish section to your team. Uh, I did try the engine on him, guys. That's what it does to his stats. It makes him very well-rounded in terms of what he's able to do however i would recommend that you stick the shadow on this card just because he needs that pace upgrade he needs that defending boost as well just to be able to compete at the at the top level to be able to hold his own against other strikers who are really going to be getting better and better as the year goes on and better strikers are released in terms of similar players guys uh, I, this Todibo is a good card. I think it's, it's quite similar in some ways. I think Todibo's obviously got a massive size advantage and strength advantage, whereas Hermoso is more of a smaller defender, more akin to the to the normal Sergio Ramos card. This Juan Basaka again is a good comparison to this card, maybe slightly better than that Juan Basaka overall. In terms of link ability, guys, you've of course got a bunch of perfect links too. Uh, Llorente, Saul, uh, of course, Koke in there, Morata's in there, Diego Costa in there, of course, as well. Strong links to all the Spanish players across La Liga, Spanish icons, and Atletico Madrid players that are in there too. Um, so you have lots of linkability options, guys, with this card. And that's what makes this card really nice as well, is you can kind of section it off, especially with this Yuri Berchiche here at left back. You can kind of section that part off in your team and tie it together with a CDM, a Llorente, and that will allow you to section off that part of your team to enable you to uh, create nice hybrids or to build something just completely different as well. A uh, really nice option there, which leads me on to my final summary about this card now guys initially when i was using this card i thought this is 100 not worth it this card is quite poor but actually guys what what i'm judging here is is this a decent center back and for me yes this is this is a very decent center back and it's a good center back and it will be a serviceable center back until the point where team of the season comes out um, I wouldn't say that this is a jewel that you build your team around, but if you've got a strong center back like I do, like a team of the year, Ramos, and you need someone who complements him well or is able to play with him, then this Hermoso will do a job for you. Um, if you're looking to section off and get a cheap section of a Spanish team, this price will come down a lot, obviously, I think below 200k towards the end of the week then you will be looking at a card which is relatively inexpensive and you can start to build your team and build nice little corners of your team off and section them off and have a really fun team as well, guys, uh, given the time of year that we are at. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. Until next time, I'll see you all in a bit.